Welcome to video 203 of my Napoleon Total War campaign um, but for um, as Russia on the very hard option. Some very kind person has reminded me that my gentleman is not in the uh, French University, or rather the one near Paris, um, still research where he actually is, he's in the Flanders one, that's where I'd left him. That's Orleans, by the way, that modern university there, and the one over here was, um, which one, Liège. Oh, well, that's probably why I thought it was France. I thought Liège, to be honest, in my ignorance, probably, <laughs> was in France, but he um, has uh, got it in the region of Brussels here, you know, in Flanders, but, you know, we talked about this before, you know, Flanders being a much disputed area so okay so we'll move you down to that university I don't expect that university to be there much longer to be quite frank with you but um, anyway uh, the rockets and the 20 pounders somebody's reminded me are still oops I don't think they're that far over I hope not anyway um, I've now stopped moving so they said don't forget about them thanks very much um, I would probably have forgotten about them I would have thought they were still on the move but you're quite right they're not moving at all anymore, so I want to get those moving in the right direction. So let's get them over to, uh, where should we take them? Perhaps over to, um, I was sending them over to Strasbourg, wasn't I? Maybe we should send them over this way instead. Mm -hmm. uh, to get them to join these armies, that's the idea, isn't it, really? I wonder which is the quickest, yeah, it is, that's the quickest route, isn't it? Let's send them over in that direction for now, then. I'll just speed that up a little bit. Okay. Right. Thanks for letting me know about that. Uh, I want to get those integrated into my armies, of course. Um, now, I should have a spy near a general around here, somebody told me about. Is it this one? And some clever person also told me that spies... Uh, sorry, that generals have white trousers. Which is brilliant, um, because that tells me that that one there is a general. Ah, uh, come to think of it, though, I've already moved all my spies, haven't I? I'm losing track. I've had a few days not being on my uh, game. So, um, well, I mean, recording, but not uh, actually playing. So, I think I've lost track. Let's have a quick check of those um, spies just to see if I've moved them. I probably have, haven't I? So, a look. Spy, spy, spy. Pomerania, Pomerania. Yeah, these are all the ones from a distance away that are already moving. Yeah, my spies have already moved. So, yeah, well, thanks for the advice anyway, letting me know that he's near the general. I'll um, get him to uh, pick off that general next time. I would hope. Um, this spy here, I would hope maybe in the future to get um, Napoleon Bonaparte. Yeah, that's the one that I failed, I remember now. I failed to get him. Okay. So, right, now, uh, somebody else said check the forces of rebels. I've checked over them all, hovered over them all. None of these are rebels yet, but the French are still on a minus seven, which is looking good for me, of course. Um, I've worked out with all my maths that um, uh, that it is worth building this gold mine. Um, it says here that, that uh, you get um, 1,200 per turn to regional wealth. It's actually 600 because you're already getting 600 for what was there before, so it's an additional 600. The plus 40 per town wealth, uh, per turn to town wealth is actually a plus 20 in addition to what was already there, and a plus, what, plus 2 to town wealth in all regions is actually a plus 1 because there's already a plus 1 there. So um, anyhow, um, I've done all the maths and it is still worth me spending all that money upgrading that place and waiting for the 10 turns. I've got about 48 turns left now, so there's 38 turns, well, probably about 50 turns actually, to be honest. Um, and uh, so um, well, I say 50 turns in total, so that would make it about 40 turns. So I will get the money back for having built that, but really it's not worth me building anything else now, I don't think. So, um, now the army up in Brussels, or up near Brussels, which is, where are they? Come on, where are you? Uh, much further over this way, I would think. This army here. That one there is a little bit exposed, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is put him in a ambush situation. Where is he? Your army may lay ambush here. If he creeps down, we know he's ambushing. No, nope, he's not creeping. Yes, he is now. OK, I'm going to pull one of these armies from over here, just to there, just to tie him in a bit and give him just that little bit of extra support there. That's the plan anyway. I'd like to be able to attack that army. He's in my territory. And I think, I really do think he is going to have to go. I do. Um, 
Whether he can go this turn or not, I'm really not too sure, but there's very little around that can hurt me, isn't there? So I'm thinking, yes, I am going to go for for him. Um, I've got troops over here who are on a, um, a moderate replenishment rate. These are on a fast replenishment rate. Um, uh, that's because these areas are owned by me, and this area is... Um, uh, I think maybe that one's a protectorate, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's Wallachia, isn't it, the uh, protectorate? So I, I could do with getting them into a place anyway where they're going to... Um, start um, you know replenishing a bit quicker anyway so what's he got in here um, nothing absolutely nothing very very brilliant I don't think um, I've got plenty of armies to move forward so that's exactly what I'm going to do I don't know whether these can get anywhere what can they do uh, I can't reach them so I assume he can't reach me but he does have a bit of extra campaign map movement doesn't he I think over that which I've got but I, I think we should be fairly safe there. I, should, I don't think I need to be too concerned about that. Um, somebody said to me that I'm overly cautious. They're probably right, but I don't mind being overly cautious. Overly cautious. I think that's a good thing um, because I, I like, you know, this sort of cat and mouse thing where we sort of gradually build up on people. I think it's um, quite good fun. Um, the point is, if I build up a lot of armies against him, there, he's likely to retreat. That's the thing. I'm probably better off taking him on a one-to-one -one and see if he'll still fight me and then yeah see if he'll fight me on a one-to-one -one. Um, because if I amass three or four armies against him he's likely to retreat isn't he I will be attacking him from here so if I attack him from there he might retreat that way that's what he's most likely to do isn't it rather than that way so he'd still be in my territory I still might be able to hit him Perhaps with these troops. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, it's a bit of fun. If I did hit him with those troops, he'd be driven into this area here, wouldn't he? No, I, I'll mass an army against him then, and we'll drive him back that way. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Let's get, um, say, what about three armies in here against him, shall we? There's one. There's two. And here's three. Let's see if they're still on a fast replenishment rate, are they? Oh, they're down to moderate, actually, in this area. It's only fast in this area, and only moderate in this area. Oh, no, that's rather a shame. But, uh, oh, well, can't have everything your own way, can you? <laughs> Not always. OK, so move him around there. Him around there. OK, him around there. OK. Creeping up on him, so we've got three against one. I'm hoping three against one odds he might just be prepared to take on. I doubt it, to be honest with you, but anyway, we'll give it a go. No. Where on earth? I hate it when he does that. Why on earth would he go through my own men to go over there? It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever, does it? None at all. Oh, what are these on? These are on a moderate replenishment rate as well, so... Oh, we should easily be able to destroy him now, shouldn't we, with all of these armies around here. Um, he can easily reach. Uh, right, OK. We're still outside France, aren't we? So we only have to cover this area. You can't get across that, that area there without going over the bridge. So I'll bring my men forward, uh, these to here, just to give them a little bit of extra support there at the front. So I've got four armies now covering this area here. He can get through there, but I'm pretty sure I'd be able to intercept if he did try and come through there. Now, these armies here, I'm going to move these over to the fast replenishment area here. i replenish them just that little bit quicker. And these two... Well, which way is he going to go? Oh, he can go around that way. That's good. OK. So I'll get those on a fast replenishment rate there. And bring these round as well. They're just the horse, aren't they? I'm going to join those up with that, uh, that artillery from here. In Strasbourg... I think I'll recruit I've got plenty of uh, money at the moment, so I'm going to recruit a couple in there just to man the place um, uh, so that I've got something in there when I bring out this army uh, because there's no point in tying up an army like that in there, is there really? Okay, so uh, let's hammer this poor blighter, hey? Um, where do we hit him from first? <laughs> decisions, decisions. One there. One there. 
one there and one here creep in on him again as usual oh brilliant <laughs> stupid right let me just check what the minuses are now in France they're on a minus seven Let's see if we can pull that down to a minus eight that's the plan now those three should be able to come in and support an attack on here now, I would have thought. Certainly hope so. Yep. Easily in our favour. Uh, he's already retreated once, so he should simply die now. We lost 446, and his army's destroyed.